This is uh, Glen X. Uh, this is Cessna 172 and uh, this is uh, a very stable aircraft for uh, flying, it's a good learning aircraft. It is set up for the full instrument uh, approach so you have the ADF and the VOR and um, they're the key tools for the um, instrument training. I'm uh, Graham Fenton and uh, I fly out of Cranfield Flying School at Cranfield Airport and then I decided that for um, the benefit of uh, safety and because I wanted a little bit more experience I decided I'd uh, go for the IMC rating and I've now done that and passed that and at the same time had got a night um, qualification as well. Well, I've always enjoyed the experience of flying, uh, whether it's on small commercial aeroplanes or the bigger commercial aeroplanes. I like the technical side of it and I just enjoy the sheer freedom and, and just being able to go places. Many pilots fly with a buddy and explore the airspace and today we're going to fly to Newcastle to look at a new piece of artwork called Northumberlandia that is best viewed from the air. There's Cranfield Airport. They're disappearing. The most exciting place in the world. Well, it is. <laughs> right, let's go around. Yep, coming around. We want 343. Three. Yeah. Has anything surprised you in terms of what you are learning that you didn't learn in the classroom? Well, yes, I think because things are for real and they're thrust upon you as they happen, uh, you have to be pretty quick about understanding what you're going to do, where you're going, and then, um, you know, taking the appropriate actions. So it really brings together everything you've learnt, but it's for real. It's an incredible experience just to think, you know, you are the person on your own up there in the aeroplane doing it all by yourself. Um, and I think it's when you then come back down to land that first time, you just get uh, an incredible sense of achievement. Um, and it's something you just can't repeat, you know, to actually have flown an aeroplane on your own by yourself in the sky and come back down safely. It's incredible. Golf Lee Merco November X-ray is a Cessna 172, two persons on board, 3,600 feet uh, en route to uh, Sherbourne. To request basic service. Affirm. What's your intended routing? Intended routing is via Syaston up to Gamston and then Gamston up to Sherbourne. November X-ray, give me a call when you're passing a beam of Melt Mowbray if you can. I've generally stuck with um, one instructor, Michael Smith, um, and he took me from almost day one. Uh, interdispersed with that, I've flown with other instructors, and that's quite useful as well, because they have a different slant on things, and you learn slightly different things. Right, heading 110, thanks. Go for it, Kilo. Doncaster, Sheffield, radar, good morning. Golf, Lima, Echo, November, X-ray. Golf, Lima, Echo, November, X-ray, Roger, clear to transit, VFR, number 4,000 feet, 1003, route is described. Cranfield's a nice uh, aerodrome to fly from. It's uh, it's quite big, um, and the relaxed atmosphere at the flying school is fantastic. And of course, the airport itself is set up for IR flying or IMC, and you've got all the uh, navigation aids. Yes, and uh, clearly that's very good as well because having all the uh, requirements in one place means you don't have to fly off to different places. Roger, I'm well clear anyway. When we get to Gamston, we're going to go outbound on their radial 340, and that will take us to Sherbrooke. That's Doncaster's uh, NDV. I think everybody can do it. Uh, it isn't hard. You do have to study, but it's not exclusively hard that only certain people could do it. Um, and equally, background sh is no um, barrier at all. So why did you get your IMC rating? I wanted it as a safety margin and because of the extra training that it gave us for using all the uh, navigation aids. So that if the weather really does change for the worse, you can get yourself out of it. So I more or less continued the training after um, having done the PPL. So I guess in a country like the UK, look what we're flying around. Yeah, exactly. We're just about here. And we're going to go straight into IMC and the cloud's quite low, so we might as well go through it. Is there a, more of a finesse to the, uh, the skills of a pilot? 
I think it sharpens you up a lot. You have yeah. to be much more precise in your headings. You have to be much more precise in your height holding. Uh, and, and it teaches you to get the mental images in your head of what you're doing. So uh, I think it sharpens you up a lot. And I guess like with anything, the more you do it, the exactly. better you're going to get, the better you're going to feel it, and the better you're going to, your... The more at ease you feel. Yeah. For me, it really helps, because you've got uh, another pilot next to you, you're able to compare notes. Usually we split the workload, so one of us is doing the radio while one of us is flying. It also means you can extend the range, because we're sharing the costs. So for me, it's a fabulous way of doing it, and it's a social way of doing it as well. They said you were uh, for the Morbus there, but I understand it's near Thumbland. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully, you get lots of other visitors coming to see this wonderful piece of art. Government X ray, yeah, it's already having an effect, and you are clearly under control of space. Not above 2,500 feet vehicle on the QH 9 at 907 hectopascals. How does it feel being on your long uh, Navex? Feels fine. Does it? Yeah, it's good. It doesn't feel. Were there some anxieties before you left this morning? Like, uh -oh. yeah, just a little bit of butterflies, like taking an exam. Huh. Is it likely? Why? We're both pilots, so I know. But we're going for a jolly. Well, that is Newcastle up there. So is this what getting your PPL was all about? Yeah, absolutely. Going for little adventures. Yep. And exploring the world. Yep. It certainly was. What's your favourite aeroplane? I like this, I must admit, <laughs> I like the 172. It's very stable. It, you know, it does what you want it to. I nearly said it does what it says on the tin. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it says it's an aeroplane which flies, yeah. so hopefully that's what it does do. We are just to the south of Newcastle. We've got 10 nautical miles to the TDME, according to the DME equipment. Newcastle is just to our right, which is down there, and then up here is that piece of artwork, and we better bloody find it, because uh, if we don't, we, we have to tell Cranfield Flying School a lie. And the other area I'd love to go up towards is Scotland, and, and fly around Scotland, because again, the scenery, and also the different experience of mountains, weather, all that sort of stuff would be um, my ideal. And then there's, you know, France, and who knows, after that, where are the horizons? Could be anywhere. Need to come across a bit over that, that way. That way. That way a bit. Got November X-ray report complete at Northumberlandia. Wilco, November X-ray. Emirates 36 request taxi. Emirates 36 taxi to Hoboy Delta 1, runway 255, taxi with Delta, QH 997 hectopascals. Range out, flash message. Just positioned Alpha 2, We've got the grip tester hooked up, would like to do one training run please, just yeah, uh, zero and then Delta 25. Excellent. Roger, via Alpha 2A. Do I take him back? Yep. Oh, I have this. I have control. Alpha 2-1 will report for your Okay, we need to just let them know we're complete. Yep. Go. November X-ray, we have finished our... Uh, art day out and we're going to now do a 180 and go back to Sherbin through the eastern end of your approach. November X, Roger, just continue in the present position for the moment, just uh, coordinate with the radar against inbound traffic on the ILS. No worries, we'll just uh, orbit here. I think the plane ride was super cool, extremely cool actually. Uh, I think that's an Emirates. There's a daily flight to Dubai from there. Oh, right. We've achieved our navigation exercise and now routing over the famous River Tyne in Newcastle for a fuel stop at Sherburn in the Helmet near Leeds. After a quick stop, we depart and, for the next sector, we fly in and out of IMC conditions through Doncaster's Class D zone. What I've done is I've programmed in Gamston's VOR. Okay. So that's the Gamston VOR. That's the uh, Sheffield D, uh, DME. Got a VOR. 
Actually, I cleared low approach and go around runway 20. The wind is 220 degrees at 10 knots. Clear low approach and go around Gulf MXA. 3500. Above it, to be honest. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Okay, we've got 50 Good feet to go. Box three, box three, seven. What did I tell you? Look off the box of 37, shoot at 2 POB on Navex, box to box in. We're going to it again. Roger, basic service, Doncaster QH 1000 millibar. We're 10 miles from Doncaster Sheffield, and we're 20 miles from Gamston. What does flying mean to you? A uh, total different vocation from what I do during the week to the point that uh, it is totally relaxing and you focus on something that's so different from ordinary day-to-day -day things that it takes you away and you relax. Uh, straight clear to land surface, wind 220 degrees, 6 knots. Clear to land, Golf November x -ray. Discovery and Yes, I know, that was good.